send your kids out into the world, you hope that for the best for them. Do you, but the, going to college now, these kids are younger, yeah. it feels like, than we were when we were going out. It does feel like they were younger. Um, and and they were sometimes 17 years old when they're heading out there. And, you know, we were speaking earlier, when I, when, I, when I first got to the University of Southern California in Los Angeles, I was the first person of color to live on Fraternity Row. And uh, for days on end, uh, I was continually harassed by LAPD. Um, and uh, and, and I, I have talked to my children about not if, but when they get stopped by law enforcement, especially my son, especially my son. The, the real truth is, is that like I said before, the world can be a dangerous place. You don't want to walk around on a hair trigger edge. But I tell you, none of us are perfect mm -hmm. as well as none of us are immune. Injustice of any kind anywhere should be railed against. Sometimes it's, it's safer to hold your tongue. I was stopped recently by LAPD and it was a situation where I think a lot of past instances uh, were present for me. Um, and I was making this guy who was, and I gotta apologize to him where, wherever you are, officer. On that evening, I was wrong. I, I made him responsible for all the times that I was harassed yeah. unnecessarily, and I was an to the guy. And I, and I hope he finds it in his heart to forgive Did me. Did he have probable cause? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, it doesn't covers. mean I was welcoming the stop. Yeah, I, you know. <laughs> yeah, he did.